What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the RG Koga. This is Riverdale Season 5, Episode 2. Uh, the Papa Mother. I think that's the name of the episode. Um, yeah. It was a lot of crazy stuff on the show. It's just the episode of Riverdale. Oh, we know that RG, you know, Veronica had to play along. They had to pretend to be together. Remember, they're not supposed to tell Jughead and Betty for what happened between RC and Betty. And for long, yeah, Monica, she also, you know, they really broke up. And then we see her daughter, her half, not daughter, her half sister's on the back, is back. And shout out to uh, Imani. She finally stood up to her husband saying that she wanted a divorce, pretty much. She want to be the housewife, and she's a beautiful woman. She deserved to be free, and Hong can go ahead and do his own thing. Disappear, and Veronica and her twin, and her Veronica and her half sister or stepsister, they're gonna take over, and I would like that. That'd be good for this company, and Cheryl. I think it's gonna be Cheryl, and we got to see her and Tony. I think they working it out. I hope they do, because I love them together. And we see her, her, her Nana and her mother. I think they're going to take over the medical cell, because you know she's trying to get that open. She had open, you know, business, so she's going to get that open again. I think it's going to be just the three of them. And her mom is still around. Never be forgotten. Um... We also see Jelly Bean. We find out why Jelly Bean did what she did. She wanted Jughead to stay in Riverdale. Because I guess she looked up to him, which she does. And of course, she apologized because she was doing this to make movies. And of course, we find out that Betty Half Brother is the one that killed these innocent people when they did not deserve it. And we already knew. The thing is, I already knew Charles was a dirty cop. And Betty found out, and so did Jughead. That's how smart they are. This should be a detective. That would be dope. I would like that. But yeah, they bust them. And then, like I said, we did find out that it was Jelly Bean that was doing the movie. And that's why it was Charles or someone else broke into the house and put a knife. But we know... Jelly Bean set that up though. And yeah, man, Archie got to a fight with his uncle, Uncle Frank, because he wanted to lay out his anger. You remember, he wanted revenge for what happened to his father. And this dude showed up to the gym. You know, the boy's father. You remember the boy said that it was him that hit his father? Archie said it wasn't no accident. I mean, that's probably why I would feel about Tans, I mean, about my cousin. Because he was a mother, cold blood mother. Like they killed him like that. I don't think it was an accident. No fucking way. But let's just talk. Let's just leave that alone. I see why my nephew's upset. He want revenge. But yeah, enough with that. Um. Anyway. There's nothing, nothing, there's nothing happening in this episode, but it was insisted at the same time. Um, we did see Uncle Frank. He did come back. And remember, um, Ozzy's mother called him. And he decided to come back and do the right thing, turn himself in. Because we already know she's a lawyer, so she could represent him. And he decided to come back. And be brave not to run again. And of course, Arthur getting the beating of his life, but couldn't do it no more. Because he's laying out his anger. And Archie, that's why he was upset. He's taking it out on his friend, his ex girlfriend, calling his mother. It was really messed up. I get why he's upset, but it's no excuse. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to have to see what happened next week. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, please turn on notifications, and share the video. I'm out.